It is finally here. This is Sekka Safari Lodge. She is now in the game and we're going to be taking our very first look at this. Also, apologies for my voice. I just finished a 24 hour stream on Twitch. That is why it sounds a little bit rougher than normal. Let's just go in here and have the very first look. One of the things that I really want to point out for you guys is that it really does not make sense. Unless you like the aesthetics of the Spring Creek Manor, you should not be buying the Spring Creek Manor DLC anymore. Just go straight for the Zaseka Safari Lodge. Have a look here. Surface area is pretty much twice the size. Plaques, it has five more and it has a lot more big plaques stance has one more and then it has all the gun displays as well so all in all you're just getting a lot bigger lodge in my opinion it looks better as well but if you're more into the uh, spring creek manor aesthetics get that one instead uh, but you cannot place massive amounts in the spring creek manor and this is what it looks like completely empty with all the stands and such set up we're just going to be taking a quick stroll around and this is the outside area but here we do have so many more big plaques in this lodge than we did in the other one and that is one of the big things i mean this is not even the big ones but it's still it's still nice to be able to place more of the uh medium big sized animals but just look here so many more of the big plaques and they are just all the way around this lodge it is definitely going to be so much easier to make like uh, map specific rooms and there is a lot of space for the uh, for the multi trophy mounts as well it's going to be interesting to see what we can do i'm gonna be trying to just pretty much tear down all of my diamonds and all of my rares that i want to put in here oh my god we just got a door to the face um, from the Spring Creek Manor. I don't see much reason other than keeping Spring Creek Manor as a Hirsfelden Lodge. I don't see any reason to why I even use that one, but it, just to keep it specific to the map, I, I'd probably use the Nod Prime Hirsfelden um, trophies in the Spring Creek Manor just to have something different once in a while but uh, i'm not sure how much i'm going to be using the gun displays i think it's going to look pretty cool but it's definitely not why i bought this dlc and um, here we should be going down to another empty room oh, i really like the stands in this it does really seem to be placed pretty well all over this that's one of the big ones i think that was the one we saw the grizzlies fighting on i haven't done anything here yet so i can't wait to actually get started it's probably going to take me a long time to get everything set up oh um i don't need that room right now and uh, let's just take a quick look outside as well i would really have loved to see the ability to mount just something out here as well that could have been somewhat fun but uh, i'm pretty sure that should have been a different kind of mount just uh, to be battling weather and such. But that is the lodge pretty much empty. Well, <laughs> all empty. And uh, now it's just about time to go and bring down all our trophies from the Spring Creek Manor. I just had a crash that corrupted my save file. So that is why it's so important if you're on PC that you back up your save files. I unfortunately lost three diamonds I got yesterday in the process. But we are back here with every of the trophies that I want to have put in my new Saseka Safari Lodge. It's going to be diamonds and big rares only pretty much. But the first thing I want to do is that I actually want to start with some of the multi mounts that I do want to make. I have this one that I am dying to make a pie bolt fallow deer a melanistic fallow deer and a diamond fallow deer is gonna go on to one of the big plaques somewhere i also have one here with white tails which is my melanistic og one and then i think i have a thousand scoring one i want to put up somewhere as well and my pie bolt if we're going to start off with those, I think that is pretty much going to be the first ones that I really want to make. Both of those require large stands. If you want to see what a stand is, just hit E to place your trophy. Then you can see up here in the text, this is an extra large platform. So that does not meet, well, it does meet the requirements that we <laughs> kind of need. But um, I would much rather just use a, 
large one rather than an extra large one. So let's see if we can find one of those. And this right here is apparently the large one. It seems to be a little more elevated than the rest. Are we going to be placing it down here? Let's just do a white tail huddle right there. I think it's actually going to look better over here though. So let's just place it there instead. Really want to have the melanistic come to shine. There we go. That's probably the better. Have the melanistic and the piebald show itself like that. Got another one here for the fallow deers, which is also just going to look amazing. Oh, that is good. Having the two melanistics pretty much back to back. And the piebalds are pretty much the same places as well. That's going to be awesome. I am super stoked about these multi-trophy mounts. It is stuff like this that I'm really looking forward to, to get to play around with rares and big diamonds. I cannot tell you how excited I am for this feature. It is, it's insane. Just stuff like that. It just makes it so much more... If you have if you have the determination to actually get the right rares or diamonds for your mounts, it's going to make the game so much more fun now. Make another one here, see if we have any decent geese. We do have a diamond and we have a brown one. Try to make anything decent out of that. Put those right here. And what size did that one require? That requires a medium size. Is this a medium? Nope, that's a small. I think this should be a medium sized. It is indeed. Place our geese over here. Oh, that does look good. I really like that. Have it be like that, I suppose. Maybe turn it around. Turn it around a little so we really get to see it. That's awesome. Very happy to get to play around with all these different things. I think mainly it's going to be... I don't know. I, I'm not quite sure how many of the um, plaques I'm actually going to be using. Because there's just going to be so much cool stuff I want to do with multi-trophy mounts first. So it's only going to be like placeholders until... I do get the real stuff done. Make another one here with some reindeer. We've got a thousand scoring one. Let's get that one in there. I think we have a 992 one here as well. And then one of the melanistics would probably make a little bit of sense to put in there as well. Let's just go with this one. Even though the lysistic seems to be quite a lot bigger, I think I am going to go with the melanistic. So let's have a look here. And this one does require a extra large platform, so let's just try with this one right here. Maybe we should have done a melanistic and leucistic instead. Nah, it looks kind of good. I'm, I'm happy with that. But yeah, the entire decoration of the... So Seca Safari Lodge has now started and just to give you an idea of just how many animals I want in here this has all been torn down in my um, Spring Creek Manor Lodge just so I can get everything up in here and I cannot wait to show you guys the final result please go ahead and post your best multi-trophy mounts and such on the Discord can't wait to see it thank you so very much for watching and uh Happy decorating!